Rahim. Well, students, last time we discussed about reflection of sound or echo. Reflection, please recall that lecture because the next one is related to this one. Reflection is when sound is incident upon a medium and it bounces back into the same medium, then this phenomena is known as reflection. Let me point it out for you. I have written it on the board and let me point it out. You see reflection, I will come again. When sound is incident upon a medium and it reflects back into the same medium, then this phenomena is known as reflection. Recall this and we calculated the speed of sound also by using the formula V is equal to lambda f. Now we would like to measure sound, speed of sound by the echo method. We will use echo method to find out the speed of sound and you can do this yourself also. And the procedure for this is very simple. Measure a distance of 50 meters from a wall. Take a wall somewhere in your house such that the distance from the wall towards u is about 50 meters. Measure a distance of about 50 meters from a wall and mark it. Now clap your hand at this distance, at this mark distance of 50 meters and check if you can hear the echo back. Make sure that this echo comes from the same wall from which you have taken the measurement of 50 meters and not from any other source. Now, the time taken by the sound to travel 100 meters means 50 meters for going and 50 for coming. Note this time, the time taken by sound to travel 50 meters. Please understand this thing that when you will start measuring with the help of echo, this distance is actually 100 meters because 50 for going and 50 for coming. Make sure it is the echo from the same wall. Number one, this is the point that you have to note and not coming from any other source. Two, the time taken by sound to travel 100 meters is the time difference between clap and echo. You know when you put a clap, when you start clapping, the sound waves travel, strike the wall, come back. When it comes back, when it bounces back from the wall, then it is an echo. This distance will be taken as 100 meters now, 50 for going, 50 for coming. Now restart clapping and start the stopwatch. Now what you do is, first of all you have taken 50 meters, you make a mark over there, two, step number two, you clap and hear the sound of echo coming, ensuring that this comes from the same wall which we have marked. Three, third precaution, the distance, the time taken for this echo to be heard is 100 meters because 50 for going and 50 for coming. These are the three precautions that you take. Now start clapping. One, you, you, you clap and it strikes the wall, comes back. When you hear the echo, clap, echo and then again clap. So the second one, first hear the echo, second hear the echo, third, like this you count 10 times. Use a stopwatch when you start doing the first clap. For the first clap, use a stopwatch and switch it on and then count 10 for 10 claps. Find the average time taken for the 10 claps. And this time for 10 claps, take an average of this by taking a few more readings. Do it once, for the time taken for 10 claps, do it second time, do it third time. And then find an average for this. Use the formula which we have done earlier in ninth class regarding the distance is equal to Vt, S is equal to Vt. Use this formula and calculate speed of sound. Now I come again for recapitulation. I will come again for recapitulation. First of all, one, recall what is, what is, a reflection, what is reflection of sound, what is echo. And echo is when sound is incident on a medium reflects back into the same medium, then this phenomena is known as reflection of sound or echo. How to measure speed of sound by echo method? Take a suitable wall such that the distance from the wall 
towards you is about 50 meters. Make a mark at that point. When you have marked it, then just to test that this wall is producing echo, clap your hands. See if you can hear the clap of, see you can hear the sound of clap coming back or the echo coming back and ensure that this sound is coming from the same wall which you have marked. Three, the distance, 50 meters is the distance from the sound of clapping towards the wall and then coming back is another 50 meters. So ensure that the distance was, the echo is 50 for going and 50 for 100. Now what you do is take a stopwatch, switch it on, and clap once, hear the echo, clap again, hear the echo, clap again and make a reading, find out how much time it takes for 10 claps. Take an average of this time taken by making three different observations, three different sets of clapping. Find out the time taken and use the formula S is equal to Vt. Then S is the distance, where S is the distance, V is the velocity of sound, T is the time taken. And this distance is 100 meters for going and coming. Then V is the unknown factor that you are finding out and T is the time taken by it. So this will help you to find it out. Then now, you know, I would like you to make notes of this thing, understand it properly. There are only a few steps involved in it. The next topic is 11.5. This is about noise pollution. It's also a very small topic and you will find it very interesting. You must have heard various kinds of programs on radio and TV and you must have heard, heard different kinds of sounds coming out of it, different quality of sounds. For example, in musical instruments, you can hear sounds of musical instruments like flute, harmonium, violin, drum, etc. Sounds of musical instruments normally have a present effect on us. Some sounds, of course, are not that good to have a pleasant effect. But the sounds which have a pleasant effect are called musical sounds, which are pleasing to the ear, which is not causing disturbance. So, what are musical sounds? Musical sounds are those sounds which have a pleasant effect on you and you want to hear it. Now, what is noise? Some kinds of noise or sounds coming into your ear are not very pleasant. They are very unwanted. They cause disturbance to you. So sounds which produce unpleasant effects on our ears, such as the sound of heavy machinery. Suppose somebody bangs the door, the slamming of the door very hard, or the traffic sounds on the road, etc. These sounds are very have, have a kind of a jarring and unpleasant effect on your ears and hence they are known as noise. So a noise is that which produces an unpleasant effect on your ears and sounds that produce pleasant effect are the musical sounds and the sound that pr produce a jarring and unpleasant effect is known as noise. Noise corresponds to irregular, what is noise? It's an irregular unwanted sudden vibrations produced by some sounds. Musical sound you know has a harmony, it goes in, in a harmonic manner, it has a harmony in it and causes a pleasant. Unpleasant sound has an irregular pattern, it is unwanted and sudden vibrations. So noise is a kind of, what is noise? A kind of disturbance. It can also cause damage to ear. Noise and un is an undesirable sound that is harmful for health of human and other species also. So please in this, in this topic of uh, noise pollution we are trying to distinguish between what is noise and what is musical, uh, musical sound. Noise is that which has an unpleasant effect Musical sound is that which has a pleasant effect. Noise is produced by, you know, the sources of noise are transportation equipment, heavy transportation equipment like a railway train coming towards you has, there's a very un, unpleasant kind of sound. And this is one of the source of noise. Heavy machinery also produces noise because when it is running, it causes a lot of noise. Horns and hooters 
alarms they also have an unpleasant effect suppose an ambulance is going with the hooter on or some other kind of hooter alarm is going on it is an unpleasant effect then certain social events you know when they are happening like discos when there are musical parties going on that's an unpleasant kind of noise coming out use of loud speakers private parties private social living social gathering so they also sometimes produce noise because when they use musical instrument of heavy rock type and these are the big sources of sounds effects of sound now what are the effects the effects of sounds are sound has negative effect on human health as it can cause conditions such as hearing loss you know when you when when the sound waves comes into your ear your eardrum starts vibrating like this and the more the sound the more is the vibration that comes out of it and because of that it it has harmful effect because the eardrum you know starts vibrating very rigorously very violently sometimes irregularly if it is an irregular kind of sound like this noise can cause you know hearing loss it has negative effects on the human health it can cause sleep disturbances it can cause aggression in people it can cause hypertension high stress levels etc it can also cause accidents by interfering with communication and warning signals so in this topic you know we have covered what is noise and the pollution caused by by this unnecessary noise is the noise pollution we have studied what is noise what is musical musical sound is that which has a pleasing effect it is a regular kind of harmonic sound which is liked by the ear noise is an unpleasant disturbance coming into the ear it is irregular in pattern it causes undesirable effects the sources of noises are the transportation equipment heavy transportation equipment heavy machinery horns hooters alarms social events where heavy rock or musical instruments are used etc effects it has negative effect on the human health it can cause hearing loss it can cause sleep disturbances aggression hypertension high stress levels etc it can also cause accident accidents by interfering with the communication channels and noise on what factor does noise depend there are two main factors on which noise depends one is the volume what is the noise level that what is the volume of sound that is coming from that heavy machinery or that traffic or that heavy communication systems and what is the period of exposure of this sound yani that means for how long does your ear is exposed to that sound coming into it and the ear drum constantly vibrating about its main position so recommended so noise factors are two one volume of noise two exposure to the noise these are two factors on which noise pollution depends okay recommended level of noise what is the recommend how much noise should you be able to hear where you have to do go for work or you are exposed and you have to necessary that level is about 85 to 90 decibels this is the level which is safe over an 8 hour exposure if you're working in an office or a machinery or industry etc for 8 hours if exposed to a sound of 85 to 90 decibels well then this is a safe level now what are the ways of reducing sound one is by replacing noisy machinery by environment friendly machinery or equipment second is putting sound barriers from where it is being generated and third is by using hearing you put ear plugs hearing protection devices if you use these you can also combat the noise coming into your ear with this i will recapitulate now just to go over the main points one noise pollution what you hear different kinds of noises coming out the pleasant ones are the musical or the musical instruments playing for you and giving you good sound the musical sounds are pleasant sounds the sounds which are not pleasant unwanted which cause disturbance are is known as noise it what noise you know it corresponds it is irregular in pattern it is unwanted sudden vibration it causes disturbance sources heavy machinery transportation equipment horns hooters and other social events where heavy musical instruments are used effects noise has negative effects on human health as it can cause conditions such as hearing loss 
sleep disturbance, aggression, hypertension, high stress levels, etc. The noise dependent factors are volume of noise, what is the noise, the volume coming and period of exposure. The recommended level of noise to be accepted is 85 to 90 decibels over an 8 hour period. And how to reduce? By using machinery which does not produce sound, which does not produce that kind of noise. By putting barriers, noise barrier which reduces it or by using earplugs or hearing protection devices. Now I would like you to make notes of this. If you have any difficulty, please feel free to call me and discuss your problem whichever is there. Thank you very much.